Hello. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about nucleophiles and leaving groups in nucleophilic aromatic substitution. I'm going to focus on uh, the addition, elimination, and elimination addition type reactions. So in uh, the, the unactivated case, you have some leaving group. I'm going to leave chlorine on there for a moment. You react with the nucleophile. You displace the chlorine's nucleophile. These reactions require a lot of heat, uh, a lot of oomph. Okay. Okay. Nucleophile needs to be a strong base. So we're talking about hydroxide. We're talking about amides. I've used these ex examples in other videos. Um, we can be talking about terminal acetylide anions. These things are all really strong bases. And one of the reasons we need really strong bases is because it's, this mechanism actually involves an elimination as its first step. And so only strong bases are going to do this. And we need a really good leaving group because the leaving group happens early in the process. Now, when we modify this reaction to include an electron withdrawing group at the correct spot, uh, in this video, let's use uh, a ketone as my electron withdrawing group. Always good to use a different example. Now, these reactions don't necessarily need heat. In these reactions, nucleophilic attack is the rate determining step. So we still need a really good nucleophile. But in addition to the, the strong basic nucleophiles that I talked about previously, other really strong nucleophiles are going to be good here. But in general, the types of nucleophiles uh, that were used in SN2 type reactions are not always going to be good enough here. So. So things still need to be on the basic end and maybe like the most basic thing or the least basic thing that might work here is the, is the cyanide anion. And, and then only if the reactions, the arine is pretty activated. This leaving group then is not as important because it's not uh, involved in the, the rate determining step. And in fact, in the halogens, Contrary to, to the SN1 and SN2 reactions, fluorine is actually the best leaving group here. Um, and that is actually because fluorine helps the rate determining step along. When we have a fluorine here, this position is even more uh, sort of electron deficient than you might expect because the uh, electron withdrawing group is withdrawing by resonance, but the fluorine is just electronegative and it's hungry for electrons. And so uh, you know, let's use the methoxide anion as my nucleophile here. Um, you know, hack, form the anion, the anion is resonance stabilized. I'm not going to draw all of the different resonance structures of the anions. Um, I did that in a different video. But it's this first nucleophilic step, step nucleophilic attack step that's rate determining. So we can have fluorine, which isn't as good a nucleophile, but because of its electronegativity makes, or I'm sorry, which isn't as good of a leaving group, but that fluorine makes this compound more electrophilic because fluorine is, is itself uh, electron withdrawing. 
You can also get away with other kinds of leaving groups that you might not expect to see on, on SN2 and SN1 type reactions. And um, generally those things are, you know, happen in some of the more complicated syntheses that are out there, uh, but I'm not necessarily going to cover them here. Uh, it's just note that you can you get away with other kinds of leaving groups. Like if you could get the salt, you could make a sulfonate ester, it'd probably work uh, and so on. So this concludes my video on nucleophiles and leaving groups for these reactions. Thank you for watching.